Hey guys, welcome to Pulp Pin Productions, the show that teaches you filmmaking tricks. I'm your host, Matthew Grover, awesome director, sweet cinematographer, and amazing filmmaker. Today, I will be uh, teaching a very simple tutorial in HitFilm 4 Express. As you know, I love HitFilm 4 Express. It is a free, 100% free, visual effects and editing software. And it is great for everyone from uh, professionals to entry level. It's just kind of a good... Uh, first software and then you can upgrade as you go but if you remember last week I showed you how to do 2d tracking in this software and uh, if you also remember when I did that I used the plasma explosion and it didn't look very realistic because as you can see it's going over the guy here even though it is supposed to be in the background so there's a really simple and easy fix we can do for that and that's called masking. Uh, masking is something so you hide part of the footage and um, it, it's really simple it could be a little time consuming but basically what it is is it enables you uh, to make it appear like someone's something is in the background so as you can see that looks a lot more realistic now. Now if I had the time or patience I might uh, you know, you could say that this is in front of the bridge, but behind the guy, but I think it would look a little bit cooler if it was like way in the background and you masked all the bridge out, but I just do not have the time or patience for that. Um, but yeah, already, uh, you can see that it looks a lot more realistic. And the way masking works is you'll want to grab this tool right here, and you'll want to make an outline of the guy, um, and you want to get the outline as close to him as you can. You don't want it to be, uh, you know, over or way over here, or way over here, because then it will not look as realistic as uh, it could. And then what you're going to want to do is you just want to go want to go frame by frame and adjust the mask as you go um, to make it look like you know it's following the guy. Because if you just had uh, it right here and it didn't follow the guy, because as you can see, there's some camera movement here. It would not look uh, it would not look realistic at all, or you know as realistic as a science fiction blue plasma ball explosion can look. Um, now, as you notice, there's just one thing that I'm gonna do to kind of set this uh, explosion above the just kind of mediocre and make it a little bit more uh, cool looking. That's gonna be adding a light flare, a uh, good old fashioned J.J. Abrams light flare. If you go up to search and effects, you can uh, type in light flares, and um, they have auto light flares, so it stays where the main source of light is or a large source of light is, and it'll automatically put the light flare there. Uh, and when I say that they have a lot of different light flares, I'm not kidding. They have a they have a lot of light flares, uh, and you got to just kind of go and see which ones you like. Um, for this one, I just uh, picked. Uh, the anamorphic enterprise that's kind of like what you would have seen in a star uh star trek movie um and then and then sometime in the future i will show you the final pro uh final product of this uh short film it was for a short film contest where you had to take uh uh pre-recorded footage and turn it into a movie trailer and I think it looked, uh, and it, I think, and it turned out pretty good. Um, but uh, the contest has not been judged yet. The short films have not been judged yet. So uh, unfortunately, I cannot show you. Uh, thank you guys again for watching this episode of Pull Pin Productions. Uh, make sure you check uh, next week when I make a tutorial on uh, how to customize your software and hit them uh, for Express, uh, a little customization. And make sure you check out my uh, previous video on how to do 2D tracking. And remember, we are Pulled Pin Productions.